What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here today guys. In this video we're going to be talking about some rumors of the new iPad 5 and the iPad mini 2. Now the iPad mini and the iPad 4 were announced last October of 2012, particularly October 23rd, 2012. Um, and pretty much they were simple updates. Uh, well, especially the iPad 4 was from the iPad 3, which pretty much was just got a little bit of a faster increase. Um, and then Apple also introduced the iPad mini, which is a smaller uh, tablet version of the current iPad. It went from 9.7 inches to 7.9 inches. So today I'm here in this video to talk about some rumors that have been circulating around um, of these new tablets, particularly uh, being dubbed as the iPad 5 and the iPad mini 2. Now reports are coming in all over the place, especially from where I'm getting from the source of cultofmac.com. Uh, what they're saying right now is that Apple is using their direct sources for mass production of brand new iPad displays, particularly um, with the resolution much greater than what we have currently in the iPad mini, um, which would be a 2048 by 1536 retina displays at 324 ppi now this is a lot more than the current ipad mini display which is non-retina and uh the only downfall i had at least when i got my ipad mini is that it didn't have a retina display so uh i think that's all it needs and i think it'll just be absolutely perfect now you might be thinking well if apple adds a retina display to the ipad mini at a 329 dollars starting price isn't that going to go up it actually turns out it's not because the regular display only costs 188 dollars to make and if they decide to move to the retina display, it'll only cost um, about uh, 12 bucks more to make uh, for each iPad, which would be priced at 200 bucks. Now, in terms of launch date for this thing, obviously the iPad mini hasn't even been out for six months. So uh, we could be seeing it in quite a while, maybe sometime um, in October. However, what the Cult of Mac has actually go ahead and I guess guesstimated sort of um, is for a summer launch. Personally, I think it would be awesome to see a iPad mini with the retina display. I think that would be the main reason why I'd go out and buy it, uh, sell my iPad mini uh, that I currently have, of course. Um, and then, of course, you know, if Apple can make it faster, maybe upgrade the A5 processor inside of the iPad mini to an A5X or even an A6, uh, I think that would be pretty cool. And then maybe the camera could improve a little bit. Um, but I just think Apple really has to hit the nail on the head with some sort of feature, which will also follow up uh, for the iPad 5 and all their other flagship devices as well. So that's it for the iPad mini. Now let's focus around the iPad 5. Now this will be the fifth generation in iPad since uh, Steve Jobs introduced the iPad 1 in 2010 of January and then later released uh, in April, I think later that year in 2010. Um, so the iPad has been a huge success uh, being a tablet and then uh, of course was sort of miniaturized uh, back in late 2012. And millions of people all around the world just love having the small size. I know compared to, you know, because I have an iPad 2 and an iPad mini, uh, if I had to choose, I'd definitely go with the mini. It's smaller. Uh, it has all the functions of the iPad I need. It's more portable. It's light. Um, and to be honest, I love the design factor more. Keeping the design factor in mind, the rumor has it that the iPad 5 is going to undergo a brand new design that Apple has kept uh, very different, which the iPad 1 had a completely different design, and then iPad generations 2, 3, and 4 all shared the same design. Uh, on the 3 and 4, they got a little thicker because of the retina display. Apple actually wants to take the design that they have with the iPad mini, and they want to put it right into the iPad 5, which would make it look really cool. It would share the same experience, and honestly, I think Apple would have done this back in October, but since um, they didn't really want to make a great leap and give so much away, uh, I think they wanted a little more time to focus on the design and really uh, redesign the iPad 5 itself to look a lot like its uh, mini predecessor. So as you can see from these pictures here, this is what the iPad 5 could possibly look like right next to a mini. So this is, I'm not sure if this is a mock-up or just some parts that uh, I've been circulating around right now, but it would be pretty cool to see this. Um, you know, I've been sticking with my iPad 2 only because there's no really reason for me right now to upgrade my tablet. I mean, uh, you know, the only reason probably would be the Retina display. Uh, you know, the iPad 2's camera isn't fantastic, but I already have a great camera on my iPhone. Um, and the iPad mini also is a great camera too, at least I think it does. But seriously, don't take pictures with tablets. Definitely not cool. Um, and then the iPad 3 and the iPad 4, you know, you got the retina display, it's a bit faster, Siri. Uh, and if you go all the way to the iPad 4, you'll get that lightning port. I just haven't seen a reason really to upgrade yet. Um, but I think if Apple, you know, like I said before, hits the nail on the head with this new feature or something that they could introduce to really make this iPad sell, 
um, you know, along with the new design, then it's definitely a reason for me to go out and buy it and finally upgrade uh, for my iPad 2. Now, this one will also take Apple a little bit more time. Well, the iPad mini is probably set for a summer launch, or they could just push it all the way um, to a fall launch. Then the iPad 5 will follow the fall launch as well. Um, we really have to wait and see. You know, the iPad 4... They pre they, what they did was they announced an iPad 3 in March of 2012, and then they waited until October uh, 2012 to announce the iPad 4. So uh, within that short amount of time, they introduced two different generations of the iPad. So uh, I think they're going to keep it fast-paced and just keep working on the iPad to make it a lot better. Um, but if they're really going to undergo this new design, they could spend a little more time on it uh, and just you know refresh the whole iPad 2, 3, and 4 line. Um, and just make a brand new design and make an awesome product. In terms of price tags on these products, I think the iPad mini second generation or the iPad mini with retina display, um, I think that they'll actually boost the price a little bit just because it does cost a little more uh, for the retina display. I think they'll keep the current iPad mini. They have dropped the price on that maybe to 300 bucks, 299 um, and then they will actually bring the price up of the uh, iPad mini second generation or iPad mini with retina display maybe two three hundred forty nine dollars You know just because it does cost a little more to put in the retina display Hopefully they'll bump the speed on it or just do something great uh, Because they do need a reason for people to actually go out and buy it Otherwise, you know, they're just reinventing their product over and over again kind of what they've been doing for the last half a decade um, So maybe some inventions could come along like the new Apple TV uh, or the iWatch, but we'll save that for another video so that's pretty much it, guys. Those are the rumors of the iPad 5 and the iPad mini second generation or iPad mini with retina display. Um, if you liked this video, please be sure to leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.